They say you learn something new every day. And we do. We do. We <laughs> sure do. If that is true, imagine what you could do if you put your mind to it. So a local educational program is actually offering courses on just about any topic you could imagine. And the catch, you must be 50 or older to attend. Kate Evans Noah McKinney takes us back to school in tonight's top story. A life well lived is full of wisdom, but a curious mind knows no age. One of our favorite former members, she hasn't been here since the pandemic started. She will be 100 next year. Misha Price is coordinator for the Aveline branch of the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, or OLLI for short. We are a group who provides lifelong learning for people who are 50 and over. From genealogy and gemstones to mathematics and culinary arts, OLLI aims to connect inquisitive older minds with professionals in all fields. One of our instructors now uh, who does Civil War classes for us is a former ACU professor. So, I mean, if, if the person wants to learn it, we'll find somebody to teach it. Price has been with the organization since 2019. Uh, it was about 32 members in Ollie. We worked up to being uh, around 138, 140. When the pandemic hit, they were no longer able to meet in person. Some of our members do not even own a computer, so hybrid classes were not an option. Dropping them down to just 25 regular students. Now we are trying to work our way back up because we are able to you know, meet in person again. Price says she can't wait to see smiling faces back in the classroom, not just to learn, but to share with each other. If you're 50 or over, you know, come join us. They're fun classes. There's, you know, no pressure, there are no tests. Because you're never too old to learn something new. It just makes this job worthwhile. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. Price says their upcoming spring courses will include a study of local ranches, a trip to the World War II Wasp Museum in Sweetwater, and a retrospective on Victorian London, among some others. A spring semester kickoff will be held at the end of January, and more information can be found on our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.